friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and this is Catherine the 19th. This week I thought I would show you guys my secret for editing Instagram stories in Premiere Pro. Before we jump into the tutorial, my number one recommendation for filming great content for your Instagram stories is to film it either vertically on your phone or actually taking your DSLR point and shoot, whatever it is, turning it vertically so that you can get your footage in the aspect ratio that you actually want it to be when you're done. However, a lot of the time this isn't possible because I know my main purpose for editing Instagram stories in Premiere is to make previews for my future videos. So that means that I'm repurposing horizontal footage into vertical footage to go on my Instagram stories. If that's the case, that's totally fine. This will still work, but the framing is just not gonna be what you intended it to be because it's flipped. So the first step once you've filmed your footage is to import it onto your computer, however you might do that. You might already have it there because you've been editing your vlog, whatever the case may be. Open up a new Premiere file and import the footage that you wanna use for your Instagram story. Next, the main thing is to create a new sequence. What I normally do is open up create new sequence and then just accept the DSLR 1080p um, 60 frames per second or whatever it is setting um, that always opens up because that's what I always edit my vlogs in. And then once I have that sequence open, I go into sequence settings and I flip the dimensions. So instead of it being um, 1920 by 1080, I make it 1080 by 1920. I hope I said that in the right order. Either way, you just flip the dimensions so that instead of it being 16 by nine, it's now nine by 16. Basically, that's the equivalent of taking your phone and going from this to this, 16, nine. Once you've done this, you're pretty much good to go. Now you just edit your sequence however you'd like to do it. I like to keep in mind the potential of adding location, hashtags, you know, if you have the swipe up feature, keep that in mind. All those kind of things that you can build into your Instagram story once you upload it to Instagram. Make sure you're thinking about that while you're editing it because I feel like that's how you can kind of get the most out of your Instagram stories. Keep in mind that Instagram stories only lets you upload 15 second clips at a time. What I tend to do if I have something longer than 15 seconds is just simply export it in 15 second chunks. That way when someone's watching it on their Instagram story, they're still gonna see it uh, the same way that you edited it because it'll seamlessly kind of flip from one video clip to the next. However, you don't wanna lose anything in between. So just make sure that you're only exporting 15 second clips. The way that I like to do this is just go through my timeline and select an in point and an out point at the 15 second mark to make sure that my clip's exactly the length that I want it to be. Once you're happy with your final sequence and you've exported it into 15 second clips, you're ready to upload. If you use a combination of a MacBook and an iPhone like me, then this is gonna be super easy for you. If you use other stuff, don't worry, I have another solution. Once you've exported your MP4 files to whatever folder on your laptop that you want to use, if you're using the Apple ecosystem, all you have to do is airdrop the files from your MacBook to your iPhone. Once you've done that, all you have to do is go into Instagram stories, swipe up from the bottom to open up your camera roll and select the clips that you've just exported and upload them to your Instagram stories. If you aren't using all Apple products, there's a very simple solution. All you have to do is on your computer, upload your short video files to Google Drive, download the Google Drive app on whatever phone you have, and then you can save the video files from your Google Drive to your phone. Unfortunately, Instagram still doesn't allow us to upload on the desktop site, so you kind of have to use these workarounds to get the clips from your computer to your phone. But like I said, especially if you use Apple products, AirDrop makes this very easy. And there you have it. Now you've edited your Instagram stories in Premiere Pro and uploaded them as well. Congratulations. If you have any other questions about making social media videos or videos in general, tutorial ideas, please leave them in the comments below. I'd be very happy to help you guys out in any way I can with creativity and tech tips. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you really don't wanna miss my future videos, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you'll get notified every time I upload. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, I love you all. I hope you're following your dreams and I will see you next weekend. Bye.